Hey guys, welcome to Flight Top King. Hey, today is a breakfast idea. We're gonna call it the grilled cheese breakfast sandwich, bacon, egg, and cheese style. You guys watch this. Super easy video today. Uh, we're not reinventing a wheel. We're not getting crazy. We're keeping it basic, combining two iconic classics, a grilled cheese, who doesn't love, right? Throw in a little breakfast edition somewhere through there, some kind of like funky way. I think it's going to be fantastic. And I am craving this. I didn't eat last night just for this video. <laughs> Don't lie. We had key lime pie in the bed. <sighs> All right, this is the deal. We got some eggs, some pepper jacks, some American cheese. Um, we got some um, bacon. This is actually home cured bacon. And then we got some just slices of bread. Traditionally, grilled cheese, two pieces of bread. You can use mayonnaise or butter. So we got both. So I didn't want to discriminate. Use a little of that, shake that in the eggs. Comes together very, very, very easy. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Cook it on the Traeger Flat Rock today. And for one sandwich, I thought it was important to have bacon on the sandwich. So I thought eight pieces of bacon <laughs> would be perfect. So maybe six for the sandwich and two for snacking. Just a little light dab of mayonnaise on the inside. The cheeses will be American. Some pepper jack. Ooh, that bacon smells good. Just like that. Go ahead and get our eggs going. One thing I thought about adding to the eggs, which I think would be one of those extra ingredients if you just actually have it. I don't think you need to run out to the store and get it. Maybe like a chive cream cheese or something like that. You could spread on the inside. Just something different. You cooking it to a crisp for me, honey? Hashtag bacon dust. I get a lot of questions about this little gadget. Uh, it works just like my bench scraper. It's got a little handle on it. I've kind of enjoyed it lately. It came with a, a kit that Traeger sent me. Um, I'm not exactly sure which one. There's like a burger kit. There's like a griddle kit. Um, so they're kind of like hodgepodge. It's got a little handle on it. Um, I use it quite often. I actually like it. So you guys are nice. You guys can check them out. I know I get a lot of comments about it. You also get a lot of comments about way overcooking your bacon for your wife. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what, if this was in our alimony, alimony, when we got married, in our prenuptial agreement, yeah. you mean we don't have one of those? <laughs> we should. All right, we got that softened butter. I just wanna put some butter on the grilled cheese. You know, you don't want too high heat, right? You want this uh, bread to be able to fry, melt the cheese, all that stuff. So be cautious about your heat. that is what I call spectacular. So I'm gonna try to just basically lay a heavy weight, right? I'm not trying to smash it, but I do want it to start condensing a little bit. If not, the sandwich will be this big and the only person that eat that is my wife. So, <laughs> we're, so we're gonna try to just let it go. To give you an idea, I got this burner on, this burner on, this burner off. These two are on low. So just kind of moving it back and off, uh, back and forth on the griddle, just kind of pick up some of that char. I mean, that's, mm. all right, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That brown. All right, butter. I'm gonna start the butter in the cool side of the griddle. Okay, we'll be able to see, see how soft that is. That's probably not hot enough, which is a good sign. Um, and these eggs right here, I'm just gonna add just a little bit of a, uh, cheddar cheese and the reason is because I want those eggs to be able to stay together a little bit right just a little bit 
that cheese helps it do that. So all we do, watch, all we do is move our butter over. And you see the difference? Okay. That's how you can tell a griddle temperature without using thermometers. Okay. So we know right there is about a good sweet spot. Once they come to a scramble just like that, if you want to, you can almost do it like a, we call it a lily pad. When I was growing up, my best friend, I always used to make lily pad grilled cheeses with eggs in them. So he would scramble them, wait till they formed a shape, and then he would flip them. All right, let's build it. So you got your grilled cheese, Come on, baby. Got your eggs. What do you think? Five pieces of bacon? Yep. There you go. The obnoxious, uncalled for, ridiculous way to start your day. The grilled <laughs> cheese, bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Now that is fantastic. Let's just take a dive right in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That is what I'm talking about. You got your two two pieces of toast, you got your scrambled eggs, you got your bacon, all on the go. <laughs> Can you figure out which sandwich is which? Let me see. Mmm. <laughs> Before I say anything, what do you say? You really get the grilled cheese flavor. I'm surprised. I, I, I don't know what I expected. I'm kind of <laughs> like speechless, which is very rare. But I'm blown away too. Like it's really, it's subtle. Like you don't really taste the egg that much. The bacon comes through, but the grilled cheese is spot on. Let's just try the grilled cheese by itself. <laughs> oh, jeez. You wimp. <laughs> Looks like a perfect grilled cheese. A <laughs> couple things come to mind really quick don't skip on the bacon. The bacon is where you're gonna get the flavor. Since the eggs are so subtle, um, it kind of blends in with the grilled cheese style. I can definitely see where a sausage would pop. Maybe with some diced onions, some diced jalapenos. Um, like I said, that chopped cream cheese, something just to make those eggs pop because the eggs are blending in with the grilled cheese. So you're almost getting a, a grilled cheese and bacon and those eggs are kind of like in the, in the back end. But overall, I mean, that's a fantastic dish. All right, there you go, guys. The bacon, egg, and cheese, grilled cheese breakfast sandwich. If you guys are interested, we have a join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check out the Griddle Group on Facebook where we talk about griddles, get inspiration like this, and hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. 